China boasts one of the world's oldest, most continuously enduring and functioning civilizations. Ancient China's history may be traced back more than 4,000 years. The ancient Chinese culture began to flourish along the Yangtze River around 2000 BC. Since then, one dynasty after another has risen to rule over China. Because the country has never been invaded by a foreign opponent or faced a great tragedy, Chinese civilization has managed to expand and prosper despite internal battles and power struggles. This video will talk about China's mega engineering and how they build so fast. So let's get started. Fast forward to the present, and China has established itself as a worldwide superpower, dominating several industries, including building. China understands that if you want to create something enormous, you need big machines. Combine that with a large workforce, and you have the perfect prescription for building megastructures at breakneck speeds. China has built a network of about 6,000 kilometers of roads every year in the last 10 years alone. China has built several bridges for rail and road networks at breakneck speed. Building bridges is neither quick nor easy, but China has debunked this myth thanks to the SLJ-900, a vast machine. The SLJ-900, developed by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company, is about 300 feet long, 24 feet wide, and weighs 580 tons. In its lifetime, one SLJ-900 may assist in constructing about 750 bridges. The bridge towers must be built correctly in their places for this equipment to work. The SLJ-900 can extend past the pre-made bridge segment to lay down another component, as long as the towers are correctly installed. Once that segment is laid down, it can return and bring forth another segment to be laid down. Even when carrying its maximum load, the SLJ-900 can go over 5 km per hour, making it much faster than a stationary crane that must remain rooted to the ground to lay down bridge parts. Before the SLJ-900 was constructed, bridge sections were set down using massive cranes. Anyone who has seen a crane in action understands how time-consuming it can be to use one for construction. It requires a lot of time and a lot of labor. In contrast, the Iron Monster simply demands a slight struggle, lowering the project's overall cost. It can roll forward and sideways on its 64 wheels, carrying and laying down bridge parts. In the area of bridge construction, the SLJ-900 is a game-changing innovation. Russia and India have already expressed interest in purchasing it from China. It's beneficial for constructing bridges across rugged terrains like mountains and rivers. It has already made contributions to several high-speed rail projects, including a new link connecting Inner Mongolia to the rest of the country. You haven't seen the Kunlun until you've seen the Kunlun. If you thought the Iron Monster was giant, wait until you see the Kunlun. The Kunlun is an erector of box girders. It is appropriately named after one of Asia's most extended mountain ranges. The China Railway Construction Corporation invented the enormous Kunlun, which is responsible for laying down the support beams, or box girders, of bridges that cross mountains or waterways. According to the China Railway Construction Corporation, Kunlun is a one-of-a-kind bridge globally, and it represents a technological advance in the field of road and railway bridge engineering. It can also help with intelligence coordination during construction and handle challenges like bridge erection and power supply in challenging terrain. Kunlun completed the first 1,000-ton box girder of the Fuzhou Shaman High Speed Railway Bridge in June 2020. The Fuzhou Bridge is a nearly 15-kilometer long cross sea bridge projected to be finished in 2022. The Golden Gate Bridge, approximately 3 kilometers long, took four years to construct. The Fuzhou Bridge is about five times the length of the Golden Gate Bridge and is scheduled to be completed in half the time it took to build the Golden Gate Bridge. According to a statement from the State Council, Kunlun can save roughly 20% on girder erection expenses, 
while also speeding up the process by 25%. Kunlun's capacity to work inside tunnels sets it apart. Still, it must first be disassembled before it can pass through one. Kunlun has been laying beams in tunnels over the past year, both at the tunnel entrance and exit. It passed the tunneling test, giving China a competitive advantage in constructing low-cost rail and road bridges. Kunlun is especially useful in China's western area. There are many tunnels and Deep Val is necessitating bridge and tunnel adaptations. Kunlun uses high-strength steel plates that are suitable for usage in aircraft and submarines. Kunlun also features a laser matrix system that allows it to drive in tunnels autonomously by scanning the surroundings. To say the least, it's a handy machine. Kunlun's ability to lay down beams in tunnels suggests that China has broken the formula for building large tunneling machines. Although the phrase tunneling conjures up images of Elon Musk's boring tunnels these days, China isn't far behind in terms of boring tunnels. European manufacturers dominated the tunneling machine industry less than a decade ago. Like other countries, China had no choice but to buy tunneling machines from Europe. On the other hand, China began exporting tunneling machinery to Europe in 2019 for a high-speed railway project connecting Milan and Verona. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell to get notified on more amazing videos. Chinese engineering companies have reverse-engineered tunneling equipment in the last few years and managed to make them more efficient and cost-effective than their Japanese and European competitors. At the cost of $10 million per tunnel, Chinese tunneling machines can dig up to 10 kilometers of tunnels in a single day. Compared to the expense of tunneling in the United States, where each kilometer costs over $50 million, this is a bargain. The CRCHI tunneling machine was designed and developed in China. It was used to tunnel one of the twin tubes of the Genshin East Road Highway crossing under the Jintang River in Hangzhou, near Shanghai. The CRCHI tunnel building machine has a diameter of 15 meters, making it one of the world's most giant tunneling machines. It has a maximum excavation speed of 50 millimeters per minute and installed power of 9,755 kilowatts. It also has a rated torque of 42,784 newton meters. Like any other tunneling machine, it can tunnel and lay down tunneling walls as it plows through. China is also exploring massive tunneling machines, as if this wasn't enough. When it comes to creating road and railway networks, China's tunneling machines Kunlun and SLJ900 combined have provided the country with a significant competitive advantage. These massive machines work together to create tracks for high-speed train projects and highways over challenging terrain. These massive machines have allowed China to accelerate the One Belt, One Road plan, which involves the construction of roads and railway networks throughout the region, not just in China. China, for example, built the Mombasa-Nairobi railway track and finished it 18 months ahead of schedule in 2017. The 480-kilometer way was constructed at a rate of 700 meters per day. This was accomplished using track-laying equipment, which transports prefabricated tracks down the railway line, lays them down, and then rolls a new way over them. Each portion of the trail takes about four minutes to install. But wait, if you think this is quick, think again, then hang on because China has invented a track the laying machine that is even faster. The 500 Cypriot pounds is a fast waylaying device capable of putting down two kilometers of the way in a single day. The 500 Cypriot pounds was used to lay down the first segment of the China Laos railway track, which is slated to open later this year and is touted to be Asia's longest railway track outside of China. When comparing the railway track China built in Kenya to the one connecting it to Laos, China has gone from laying down 700 meters of track per day to 2 kilometers of track per day in just four years. Moving away from industrial construction, let's see how fast China can build in its cities. Every year, 
China builds half the world's skyscrapers. But how does China build so many skyscrapers? You already know the answer if you've been watching this video. Yes, China has a 2,000-ton skyscraper building machine. This beast can build a floor in four days while being stable and safe at 500 meters. Its weight allows it to resist hurricane force winds. The wall climbing monster can speed up the building by 20%. It took approximately three years for designers from China's Institute of Engineering Technology to create it. One of the project's mechanical engineers, Li Xia, named the machine Bow Nut. The Bow Nut stands 40 meters tall and weighs 2,000 tons. The Bow Nut's creators have eight patents and five articles on their invention. It's no secret that technology has aided China's rapid growth. Last year, China built a COVID hospital in just six days, with live streaming online. Truly unbelievable! What do you think about China's mega engineering? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoy our videos, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell to get notified on more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.